Father, help me not to omit the weightier matters of the law and not to omit the weightier matters of life. Pray for yourself now. Lord, help me. Lord, help me not to omit the weightier matters of life. Weighty matters are always omitted. They are not committed. I have not committed A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, and then you are happy. That's not the end of the story. You might not commit, but you can omit. Lord, the things which are important in life, help me not to omit them. But they have omitted the weightier matters of the law. The man of God was dying. Archbishop Usher by name. His last prayer point. Lord, please forgive all of my sins. Especially the sins of omission. Archbishop Usher. Lord, help me not to omit the things which have been designed for my earthly prosperity. Many people are not in the estate they ought to be simply because of omission. They did not commit anything, but they omitted many things. Omitting to think about the welfare of the family against the future is an error. Omitting to pray about your tomorrow is an error. Neglecting prayers can lead to the commissioning or to the commission of other sins. Origen only failed, only failed to pray in the morning and before the day was ended. He became a celebrated idolater. A thing he had never imagined in his life because of his status. One of the fathers of modern Christianity was Oregon. The books he wrote was where the Bible was obtained, the translations. He wrote it into Greek from Aramaic. He wants to prevent sins in the day. It begins by praying that you will not go into temptation. Pray that you enter not into temptation. Temptation is not yet sin, but it's the first step towards sin. So you pray against temptation, and effectively you also handle the sin that could have been in the day. Oh, the making of some sin can be so rapid. You can wake up today as a spiritual giant, and before the day runs out, you are wondering the type of human being you have become. Pray that you will not be a surprise to yourself in the negative term. David, the man of God, the sweet psalmist of Israel, look at what he became. Graduating from adultery, that's not enough. Then going to actual committing of murder. Just because he was going to keep a sin in secret. What was the output? What was the result? Even the child that was born was killed by God anyway. What was his gain? Nothing. Lord, help me to stay focused. Lord, help me to be on track. The right track. The heavenly track. The track of paradise. Father, make your matter the dominant thought in my heart. The things of heaven, trying to please God, struggling to please God, forcing prayers, forcing fastings. You must, if you don't force these things, you won't do them. You must force prayers. You force vigils. Lord, help me. Help me. I need help in the matter.